Have you ever wondered why they call some people mentally strong and mentally weak? There is always a difference between being strong and being weak. It shows in every single thing you do every day. So in order for you to go through this world that we currently live in, this world that is always getting tougher and harder, you know, as the day goes by, you need to be mentally strong in order for you to even fulfill your purpose and even live long. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about five things, just five things mentally strong people do. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about five things, just five things mentally strong people do to help them get by every day. We live in a world that is getting messier by the day. This world, forgive me to say, pardon me, but this world no longer have plans of coming back to normalcy, you know, coming back to being very good. As you can see over the years, it keeps decaying according to the scriptures we also see it by in our eyes it keeps decaying so for you to survive in this ever ever developing and also at the same time decaying world you have to be mentally strong so this is what i'm going to be sharing with us today in today's video so if you're mentally weak this is a video the best video for you to watch to learn five things you need to do in order for you to get mentally strong before we dive in do well to hit the subscribe button like my videos share them and let's start number one is that they embrace change challenges happen comes things do there are, there are bad things that are quite inevitable that everyone must go through even the scriptures talked about going through waters and going through the sea or you won't get drowned so they embrace change when things are going fine for them they embrace it and when things don't go go against the plan you know not what they are really planned for, the, for their lives or for their year that it's already occurring they try to embrace change and look for possible way to you know to work um according to the current environment the current situation they found themselves in in order to keep going the second thing is that they move on they move on they don't spend time pity partying themselves they don't spend spend the whole year crying because your plan doesn't work out doesn't mean you should remain there you just have to be strong whether or not you like it 24 hours a day is going to pass seven days a week is going to pass so you have to do what you don't have to spend time pity partying yourself you don't have to spend time feeling so sorry for yourself because feeling sorry for yourself pity partying yourself and feeling worried about what you don't have power over doesn't change anything it's also going to be um time wasting so remember our goal here is to grow ourselves mentally strong the third thing about mentally strong people is that they celebrate other other success okay one, one thing about really mentally weak people is when they see someone else trying to succeed or succeeding the first thing that comes into their heart is they become envy envious they become jealous of this person they feel why will this person has to be the one to get these things if you are mentally weak this is one of the things that, that this is one of the traits that will show that this person you're really mentally weak but if you're mentally strong you celebrate other other people's success knowing that that success is in neighborhood if you see god doing a miracle for your neighbor be happy for them because god is in the neighborhood so when you see other people in your among your clique in your team or even if the person is not even actually necessarily a person don't the person necessarily don't have to be your friend and you see them succeeding in something mentally strong people celebrate their success because they know they are strong and they are focused on what they are doing and in no time they too will be successful in that thing which they are they also involved indulge themselves or involve themselves doing number four is that they stay happy you just have to stay happy um there's this line that said overthink you know they solve problem you know they solve problem <sighs> okay i believe you can hear the background noise right it's one of the distractions it's one of the challenges but what can we do about it just down here down here i have two women talking and I'm sure it's entering this video. But regardless, we move. Our main focus is to carry out, to bring the message out. So mentally strong people learn to stay happy. Over thinking about a problem, over a problem you don't have a solution for, shortens your life. It doesn't mean you increase your life. There's a place the Bible said in Matthew 6, 
that he was asking a, he was asking a question he was like will life be added to you i'm just trying to paraphrase will life be added to you if you spend your whole year if you spend your whole time thinking over thinking and worrying over a situation you don't have control over a cubit of life cannot be added to you rather you'll be losing weight rather you'll be losing joy and when you lose joy you lose happiness you lose um, um appetite to eat you start you know emaciating you, you get sick you die so if you are if you really if if getting mentally strong is one of your goal for 2022 one of the things you just have to do like to try to see that you stay happy the fifth thing but not the last is mentally strong people take calculated risk that is why you have to be strong life on its own is about taking risk so you have to be strong you have to take risk but you don't just you know shadow box you take calculated risk you sit down about this business venture you want to go in make research take your time to really make research about it know what you stand to gain what you stand to lose will what you gain be greater than what you lose in case it goes well fine will what you lose um be greater than what you gain if what you're going to lose in that business adventure or that career pursuit or that course you want to enroll in if what you will lose is greater than what you gain that is not cal calculated risk but if what you're going to gain is greater than the loss regardless there's no business that doesn't come with loss there's no business that doesn't come with investment there's no business that doesn't come with hardship all of these things if it's going to be like a successful business it's must all of these things must, must accompany it they are inevitable but you have to make sure you are taking the calculated risk do what let me know in the section below other things you think mentally strong people need to do or mentally strong people do to keep them mentally strong and things you think that mentally weak people need to change to make them mentally strong and that brings us to the end of this particular video you can see how short it is i didn't plan to make it so long thank you so much for being a part of my journey thank you for watching my videos do well to let me know your, your thoughts in the comment section below please do well to share my videos out do well to subscribe if you've not done so and i'm going to see you in my next video i'm still not leaving the king's pride and i'll see you in my next video bye